Hi everyone, uh, this is part three of the tissue tape tutorial. Um, this one is using dry embossing uh, folders um, to create. This one has a lot of texture, uh, so does this one. You can actually feel it. Uh, this one doesn't have the texture anymore. Um, so what you'll need is the tissue tape, uh, sorry, the tissue paper uh, that we've been using in the other videos. Um, so pre-coloured ones if you wish or blank ones. Um, for this technique here you actually need to have the embossing, sorry you actually need to have the tissue tape blank if you're just using a single colour. Um, if you're wanting to have a different colour and then just highlights over the top then you colour it first. Um, so for the benefit of time, I've actually uh, made some ready to go. So with this one here, all I have done is coloured a blank piece of tissue like this, um, just with some distress inks using a sponging on method. Um, so basically it was just the tissue like this. Um, and then I've just coloured it. Sorry, that's what it looked like when it was coloured. Then I have applied my tape to the back. And then I have placed it inside an embossing folder and ran it through the big shot. Um, so you can already see the texture on there. Um, then basically all you need to do is select a colour. And just sponge over the top to pick up the highlights. And once you've done that, it's just a matter again of cutting out the tape. You need to, have, if you're going to use a blade like this, it does need to be a very sharp blade. I've been using this one uh, for a few days now and it's not quite as sharp as it once was. I've cut so much of this double-sided adhesive that it's all glued up on my scissors as well, so they're not much good either. I think you see that's what it happens if you drag your knife along, it just lifts it off the actual um, double-sided adhesive. So I think you can get the idea from that. So you get the... Um, the embossing and it's still very textured and even once you peel that off and pop it down on the paper or the card you can still feel that texture quite clearly so that's that one um, and the other one is again it's just one that I have already prepared um, just a blank piece of tissue and I've then run it through two separate embossing folders and this one, as you can see, <laughs> didn't. I was in a hurry and it didn't go through straight. Um, but same technique, once you've run it through the embossing folder, I'm just going to sponge over the top to pick up the highlights. And depending on the type of embossing folder, um, will depend to how much texture is left in the tissue after You've taken the backing off. This one that I have down the bottom here is actually just a brick pattern and it's quite subtle anyway but once you take the backing off the tissue it is no longer there. You can still see the brick pattern but it doesn't have erased texture at all. So you can see the, the brick pattern there 
and I can feel it on this um, paper tape while it has the backing on but as soon as I take the backing off it no longer has that um, the feeling I can't feel the texture anymore but I can still say clearly that it was bricks uh, this one is much more rigid and detailed so I'm tipping that once I peel this backing off and stick it down I'll still be able to feel it sorry a bit rough there So yeah, I can already see just by peeling this one off that the embossing will still be there once I pop it down on the paper. There we go. So that's the dry embossing technique that I've been playing around with. But it's just so versatile. You can do anything you want. You can match it to any colour scheme you want with any pattern you like using you know whichever medium you want really um, I've had heaps of fun making lots of different ones as you can see um, and yeah just have a go and see what you think please leave me a comment and subscribe and um, I'd love to see what you come up with if you make some too thanks for watching bye